welcome to episode 121 of The Endless Stream. I'm Aiden, and this week's episode features Brian and Kevin. I'm a little late with this episode. I've spent the last month in Edinburgh doing nightly shows, and the editing of this podcast slipped. Not gonna lie to you, spent more time going to comedy shows, doing comedy shows, drinking, and staying out late than I did thinking about editing podcasts. But I am back in Dublin now. The boys banked two episodes. I'm getting them edited. The upside is you're going to get two episodes over the next few days. This episode is Brian and Kevin. I can't remember what they talked about. I edited the episode a week ago. Good luck to all of us. Uh, Let's jump in with a positive mindset. Each week we take some of the endless stream of content brought to you through Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Spotify, Disney+, Plus, wherever you get content. We take a chunk of it, we watch it. We talk about it. We talk about comics. We talk about nerd stuff. We talk about me being AWOL and, and shit on me a little bit. I think that's in there. If you like what you hear, please consider subscribing to the podcast, heading over to iTunes and Spotify, rating, reviewing, liking, subscribing, all of those good things really help us out. On top of that, you can head over to Instagram, at the Endless Cast. And you can give us a follow over there. We put up artwork to go with each episode. We put up clips and it's a good place to suggest something for us to watch or talk about. You can also send us an email at theendlesscast at gmail.com and you can do the same thing there. Disagree with us. Suggest something for us to watch. It's a good place to get in touch. All of that being said, let's get into the episode. Hello, hello. Testing. Kev, did I... um... I tell you about my Polish friend. He's a he's a sound guy. Uh, no. I have a I have a Czech one too. Oh my god! Oh god! I feel sick. <laughs> oh my god! One of my friends is a sound engineer, and and I've ne- I, I, he might appreciate that joke, but. But you didn't. I've never, I've never heard it. <laughs> I've never heard it before. Um, terrible. My actually, my friend who's a sound engineer. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, I won't say his name because I don't know if he if he wants this out there. But uh, if I if I keep if I don't say his name, be fine. Um, but uh, he broke his back. He broke his spine. Ooh. He's climbing. He was doing. Uh, he was doing like. Uh, it was a big, massive. It's a, it's a certain place in Canada, and it's very, very famous. And he fell thirty foot, Fuck. or thirty feet. Uh, he uh, he was. It's a big. It's a big, massive mountain. Mm-hmm. It's the Calculus Crack, I think it's called, and it has two real long linear cracks down the middle of the mountain, the cliff face, mm-hmm. where people throw those anchor things into, and climb up through that. And he felt he was going to slip, so he started climbing down. So his buddy was kind of watching him climbing down, and then one of his anchor points. He, I think he did slip and he was going down feet first and then one of the anchors came out which kind of flipped him and sent him kind of like falling further but he cracked he crashed his spine into the into the cliff and he hit his head and he was out for 20 minutes but uh, but he was okay fucking hell yeah he, the normal way on your spinal column you have like obviously your the columns yep. and you have the kind of the main chunk in the middle mm-hmm. and then you have the two little pieces that jet off either yep. side he broke three of those little pieces on the left hand side of his lower back Fucking hell. So, uh, you know, send him good vibes, mm-hmm. speedy recovery, all that jazz. But uh, yeah, God bless him. But he's, you know, he's not the third. He still wants to go do more climbing. He loves climbing. So, but it's pretty brutal. Yikes. Yeah. Anything 30 feet. I mean, you, you can die from smaller falls, but pretty much like 30 feet is, is what will kill you. 30 I know, yeah. You don't have to yeah. get that high. Yeah, he was lucky anyways, for sure. I, so he... Uh, he, he I guess that was kind of one of the reasons maybe he did survive is that he he didn't hit the ground he hit like the wall, the wall which yeah. is you know obviously still enough to break his back but yeah 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 but he's grand I was talking to him for a couple of hours yesterday Ooh. he's he, he's after fostering two new cats Plato and Socrates so while he's recovering he's going to be looking after two nice. cats yeah that's just what he's a good dude to- <laughs> I know he's cats. a good dude yeah he loves it he fosters cats Good, good dude, good dude. But um, how are you, Brian? What is the crack? What is the crack? Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to answer those no. questions. No crack. No, no crack. I went to uh, I went to all together now. It was my first ever music festival first at the ever. age of 35. 
You you said you've been to them. You've been to music festivals. I went to a couple. Yeah. Okay, you went to a couple. Okay, what one? See, would you go to um, oxygen and all those things? No. Electric picnic. Oh, you so you went to electric picnic. I was at electric picnic twice. When you when when you stepped in Joffrey's foot. Yeah, that was electric picnic. Yeah. Yeah. That was the second. Yeah. Second. Hang on. Yeah, that was the second time I was at electric picnic. Um, I was watching. I was waiting for James Blake to start, and they were doing sound check. Um, so there wasn't a huge crowd yet. I was just standing in a field, lovely sunny day, and just kind of took a step backwards and realized I stepped on someone's ankle. And I turned around, there was somebody lying right behind me. I don't know why they were lying behind me, because like I was in the spot first, and they were lying. They weren't there when I walked up there. Yes. And they were lying behind me. I still stood in someone's foot, and I was like, oh no, I stood in someone. And I turned around to apologize. And then I saw the guy's face, and I was like, oh, fuck that dude. And I just turned back towards the stage, and then I was like, why didn't I apologize there? I was like, what was that about? Why didn't I apologize to that person? And then I realized it was uh, Jack Gleason, Joffrey. I stood up him and I should have apologized, but so <laughs> that was how strong my reaction to his face was. Um, yeah, no wonder yeah. that guy quit acting. Yeah. But like, I, I, really... I didn't even mean to be like, do you know what I mean? Like, I just kind of, no, I, 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 I know, fully I know exactly like, oh shit, yeah. I stood on someone's ankle. And I turned around and I was just like, oh no. Like, I, I turned away just almost in fear as well. Just like, oh no, don't, yeah. don't talk to him. Um, yeah poor guy. god bless him and he was he was probably only a child at the stage to be fair he's probably, he was probably like in his early... just old enough to go to the picnic I'd say. yeah 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 well um well fuck joffrey, fuck joffrey. not the actor not the not, actor. not the not the, not, not not the person playing him but the character yeah like jack's a lovely fella yeah by all accounts yeah. I don't Qu- know. he quit acting i believe that's what i heard he took a break from it anyway for sure um but yeah so i went to all together now it was good torrential rain on the friday night uh and then the next day we had to at one stage you had to wake up really early morning like kind of now because i say early morning like we were up to like four or five in the morning then I had to get up and like, call the tent at like nine o'clock to try and put on the the outside layer again because it was blown away in the wind the wind was insane but i, but I like kind of like it was all good. It was funny. Like, it was fun. You know, like, crawling out of your tent, like, what the fuck? That, that, that part was blown off. And, like, then seeing all the devastation around, like, of the <laughs> rain from the night before, bits and pieces of people's tents everywhere, tents up in the air. It was wild, you know? Uh, somebody said that they saw a girl coming out of a tent, followed by another girl crawling out of a tent, followed by another. And by the time the third girl crawled out of the tent, the tent just went pew, up in the air, gone. <laughs> yeah. And when I, I bumped into a customer um, and uh, actually I, there was a good few of my customers down there, but I bumped into a customer and uh, he was saying, oh, okay, what's the crack? How are you getting? I was like, oh, good, buddy. How's your weekend? He's like, good. My tent blew away this morning. I was like, no way. He's like, yeah, man, it's all good though. I was chatting to a girl. I'm going to stay in her tent tonight. I was like, oh, fair play. He was like, yeah, man, silver tongue. <laughs> I was like, good on you. <laughs> Guys, if I was yeah. single at a festival, I would die. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'd just be asleep under a tree or something, freezing yeah. to death. Wouldn't last yeah, two nights. Yeah. No, but um, but yes, yeah, so it was an excellent festival. Really, really great. I went with a few people from my hometown and their friends and stuff. Uh, obviously, Emer and then her brother and sister in law and all that kind of stuff. But it was great. It was amazing and it was so much fun. Uh, we saw. The main acts, I think, were the likes of Iggy Pop, Lord, Sugar Babes, the Villagers. But we saw a bit of Sugar. We saw Sugar Babes. The villagers are too too metal. Yeah, they're not metal. Uh, yeah, uh, and then we saw a bit of the Scratch. Uh, my actual highlight, music wise, because I didn't really go for music. I literally, I, I went because I'd never been to a festival before, uh, and then I knew the people going, so they're all like amazing people, like as in friends wise. But. Um, I had a musically was a, a group called Le Boom. I've heard of them. Yeah, I never. I was gas. I know of Irish acts, Le Galaxy, Le Boom, but uh, but uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I saw Le Boom, and I kind of at one stage, kind of one of the fellas in the band, his younger brother came on, Andy, I think his name was, and did like a load of kind of like just spoken word kind of stuff. I wouldn't say rap, more like spoken word kind of over their tracks and stuff and it was really really good 
really really good and uh that was definitely like that like i've never heard of them before and that was that was class uh that was great and then there was a drag show that was brilliant the drag show and the boom were probably my two favorite things and then like iggy pop just seeing him uh and the few songs i knew you know i'm surprised i knew more of his songs actually mm-hmm. but uh yeah it was more just f- f- the crack as opposed to you know yeah going for music it's pretty rare that i've ever gone to a festival purely for the lineup in fact the ones yeah. with the best lineups were the ones that i've not been to i'd kind of look at them and go fuck i want to see that band and 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 then for whatever reason i couldn't make it the ones i've been to i've never been like i gotta see this band. yeah there's been I, bands I guess there that are great that i've enjoyed but um anytime the lineup has been the strongest it's never been a festival that i've been to <laughs> Fair. I guess I guess the only reason why I've I've not gone to festivals in the past is because like, you know, say just in the past I've just not been into the music it's not been my scene, you know. Uh but then I'm kind of like, now I don't care. But uh yeah, yeah the only go for the vibes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, for sure. I went to Dublin City Comic Con uh last Sunday. How was it? Was it uh, amazing? Uh, no, no, it wasn't. No. No, it wasn't. Yeah, I listened to see your voice note. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, kind of, you know, like, it's a comic book convention or a comic con, you know, comic being the uh, operative word there. I would have loved to have had a chance to go through some, like, you know, deep dives and bins. Are dead. And yeah. Comics are dead. They're actually not. They're actually, uh, mm. there's been an upturn. Mm. As they though. Well, yes, apparently so. They should have a comic con for something like that then. They should do, but uh, no, just all about the anime, like loads of anime, like cosplay items and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, it's like this is where all the plastic is going. But uh, all you know, just 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 loads of that kind of stuff. Loads like basically just boots and boots of like plushies and Funko Pops and the same kind of anime cosplay items and stuff um, like kind of we were like, long story short uh, Bjorg has somehow well Bjorg has a Teddy of the Hulk that's in pieces now but she loves it and we were like you know what maybe if we see a Teddy of the Hulk we'll get her another one because she loves that damn fucking thing you know and it's in bits uh, despite us buying her other toys that are nicer and cuter and better for dogs and stuff, she just she loves that fucking whole toy. But um, uh, there, there was there was nothing there, you know. And it's just like you think, and like you think at very least, like you know, considering how there's tons and tons of bloody teddies of stuff, it's like no, no, no Marvel stuff, like you know, whatever, you know. It was just, uh, just I was I was expecting like I know they're, I know they're like far far detached from the comic conventions i used to go to like 15 years ago they're so different but it's just like i wish i wish like they were more comic oriented even the artist alley wasn't particularly comic comics orientated um i did bump into well i did go up to will will sliney and um, i knew will years and years ago i haven't spoken to him now probably in decade over a decade but i knew will for years or a handful of years and uh Will was even saying that I was probably one of his first com- uh, sketches at a convention. His first convention, you That's know, classic. I was his first sketch. I was like, no way. But he gave me, a, he gave me a print of Gambit and did a little Spider Man sketch and signature on it. You know, he's doing that for people at the convention. But he gave it to us for free, which is really, really kind. Uh, expect Will to be on here at some stage. He he did say um, that he'd be around maybe the next couple of weeks, so I might have to awesome. text him and hit him up and see what the crack is. Um, but. Uh, and then I met another guy, uh, just you know, perusing the different um, artist alley uh, boots. Uh, there's another chap, Wayne O'Connor. I want to say his name is. I believe he's from Sligo. Uh, just general artist, not necessarily comic book stuff, but like illustrator artist. And I bought three art books of his, like uh, Through the Veil or something, or Beyond the Veil. And it's just his little kind of sketches of just mythic creatures from all over the world and stuff. But uh, really, really nice. Just done digitally, black and white. I really liked it you'd see it Brian you'd, you'd like it there's just fun little sketches you know or cool little pieces uh, nice little books like 13 illustrations per book or whatever you know uh, and he was a nice guy I was just chatting to him and I got that they were the only things I got was a print and his little, that, that chap's art books Wayne O'Connor worth checking out but um, so will you be going to the next Dublin Comic Con um 
No, well, not with Emer anyways, that's for sure. Uh, um, she wasn't a fan. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Will I go to the next Dublin Comic Con? Like, I, I don't go to... I, I haven't gone to many of them uh, recently. You know, I have. I, do, I did go to one or two out in the RDS. Uh, and I've kind of felt they were a little bit better, maybe. Same crowd, I think. I, I don't know. Mm. But uh, will I go to another one? I'm a believer in, you know, you kind of have to support these things so they can grow and change and evolve. But at the same time, I just don't think they're about comics. I think the CAF Dublin Comic Art Festival is it feels more comic oriented for sure, for sure. Like there's indie comic people, you know. There's people like just yeah, just a bunch of indie Irish comic heads, uh, Irish based, I said Ireland based comic heads. But uh, I feel like that's more comic oriented because like at least each booth, someone's probably potentially selling some sort of zine or comic, you know. Where I didn't feel like that so much in double comic convention uh, I think there's cool things there for people but like obviously I'm, I'm more into comics and uh, that kind of side of it creativity in comics but like the the ones I used to do years ago with Jim Lee and Lee and Sharp and you know Will Sliney and Declan Shavi and Steve Thompson and you know they had a list Jock was there they had a, they have Steve Niles I think was there at one stage uh, the guy from 30 Days a Night uh, they've, they've had great ones before but just we should get them Linda Hamilton was there who? The organizers. All the people. Oh, the organizers. Yeah. Grilled them. No. So what the fuck? What the fuck, you fucking fucks? What's going on? Like. No? You don't want to do that? You didn't hear that? I heard none of that. Okay, fair, fair. <laughs> it's fine. I'll tell you again. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, Aiden's not here. He's off again. Edin Gbagiga. How 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 do you pronounce it? Edin Gbagiga. Edin Baruj. Edin Baruj is it? Edin oh, Baruch. Edin Baruj. Sorry, yeah. pardon my ignorance. He's at the he's at the Edin Baruj Fringe Festival. Um, he seems to be getting on mighty. He's cut his hair. He couldn't be bothered coming here. Couldn't be bothered coming here. Must be having a great time. Couldn't be better come here to fuck, you know. Couldn't be. But it's just, it's funny how it's funny how he's off in Edinburgh. Ed, Ed, uh, sorry, how do you pronounce it? Edinburgh. Rouge? Edinburgh. Hush. Edinburgh. Hush. Yeah. Uh, so Ed, Ed is off in Edinburgh. Hush. And he's like, and he like, we're working. We're working. We have full time jobs, and we're yeah. doing this. He's gallivanting. <laughs> like what the fuck? And he's like, hey, would you also mind doing this thing in your own free time for free? Uh, yeah. While I'm gallivanting. You have you have your weekends off, right? Yeah. So like this could be potentially your lion. Oh, completely. Yeah, but you're up. I'm up. I'm up. I, I, you're you're obviously exhausted too. I am spent. I'm spent. I'm spent. I'm washed out. Like I'm, I'm spent. I'm done. Burnt out. Stick a fork in me. Yeah. Yeah. And then here you don't, here I am. Like you don't need a food thermometer, you're done. I'm done. You can tell. Done. My juices are yeah. clear. Yeah, you are pre-cooked. No need to cook you anymore. Cook you me. are you are ready to eat. Ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Serve me up. Uh, <laughs> serve bride up. I would love a plate of bride right now. Wait, what's going on? Service. <laughs> but um, but um, yeah. So he's not here. He's off doing comedy stuff. Happy for him. A fucking piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know if I can ever be happy for him. Well, you know, I, I don't know. He's uh, he's insufferable. Like he's a sleaze, or he's like kind of there's something just greasy about him, isn't there? Oh, isn't there? Yeah, something. God, something Un- uncouth, sleazy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. A big, yeah. big Dublin sleaze. Yeah, S- sleazy D. Speak- that's that's what we call. Sl- that's new name. Sle- sleazy D. Sleazy D. Oh jeez! <laughs> oh well, that's gonna stick. But um, yeah, like obviously this is what you saw. When you're not here, so. Yeah, this is. But uh, but you know, kind of. Let's speak. Uh, well, some one thing I saw uh, interesting this week in the in the news in the newses, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, Brian, what's your opinion about the people uh, uh, taking advantage of the Bank of Ireland glitch this week? Those silly, for those of you, silly folks. For those Why don't you catch, people who catch up our international listeners? Yes, uh, all one of them. But uh, 
Well, this week in Ireland, uh, there was a glitch in the Bank of Ireland that allowed people, if even if they had no money, to withdraw a thousand euro, I believe. I've seen different things going on mm. saying 500 or a thousand. But basically, it allowed them to withdraw a thousand euro from their ca- their bank, even if they had no money or a minus money. So people were withdrew- there was queues at ATMs at night time of people trying to withdraw money. The Garda were trying to stop these people from withdrawing money, which apparently was controversial. But at the same time, it's just like, well, it's not their money, and if they're taking it, that technically is stealing. So, like. If the guards are meant to stop people from stealing or protect citizens from even sometimes themselves and their dumb decisions, you know. But uh, yeah, so people were able to withdraw money or send money to the Revolut. So people were withdrawing thousands and uh, going to. I saw videos of uh, people in Tala and Kulak and the queues at the ATMs and stuff and queues in Tesco, 24 hour Tescos of people buying TVs and PlayStations and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. No, it's for sure most of those people won't care. Even like, because I saw people saying like, oh, they'll have bad credit. It's just like, I don't think they're worried about having bad credit. Yeah. Um, it's it's just, it, it's one thing for people to not think, you know, a few consequences ahead. It's another then though, when, you know, dozens of people can be oh, mobilized into action like that, you know, yeah. through yeah. a WhatsApp text or something. Um, I think that, that part, that part's worrying to me because I don't know, just, 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 uh, think, of, just think of a piece of misinformation saying, you know, I know, oh, the, I know the libraries are giving out free gender reassignment surgery. Yeah, I don't know if yeah. you heard about that. There's people protesting outside the library in Cork um, every couple of weekends lately because they have some issue with like a, a few books that are in the library, and they're saying that it's indoctrinating kids. Oh and God, kids trans, I all this don't kind of nonsense. So care. like, what if something? I don't know. But I know, I know what you're saying like it's a fine line to, for these goobers to fucking just kind of collectively get together and do something yeah. stupid. Do something dangerous. I get you. Or somebody saying, "Oh, there's yeah. another, there's another American tourist has been beaten up in Temple Bar. We should go down there and either join in or prevent it, or something." You know, a yeah. bunch of people in well, Sutton, joining, joining in, and probably <laughs> more uh, likely in, in Dublin. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Dublin's terrible. Ooh. It's terrible. That's why I bought a house here. But uh, yeah, oh, that's another thing, isn't it? Uh, people. Uh, Good luck to all the people of Bank of Ireland. Um, you know, I hope you're enjoying. <laughs> I hope they TVs. get their money back. Yeah, I hope Bank of Ireland get their money. money back. Yeah, you know the thing is though, they always do. You know what? The the same week, uh, like this week, basically at the start of the week, I got an email from Bank of Ireland, um, because I changed my account to a graduate account while I was studying. Yes. I got an email from them before. I think it was a day, two days before the bank app thing. And it was like, hi, Brian, we're upgrading your account. You previously had a graduate account. We're now upgrading your account. This means we will be charging you six euro a month, every month. We will also be charging you 30 euro a year for the overdraft facility. Also, the overdraft facility, the interest rate on that was 9%. Because we're upgrading your account, the interest rate is now 16%. It's like, they keep using the word upgrade. And I don't... But it's see, nice that they upgraded your account. I don't <laughs> see what I'm getting as part yes. of the upgrade. It's like, yeah, throughout the email, they used about three, four times. Who are you, who, what upgrade bank is that? That's Bank of Ireland. That's oh, the, get out of it. That's the bank with the, you know, terrible app. Free money, I believe. Glitches and the yeah. faulty ATMs. And I am paying them six euro a month. For my money. My money. Yeah, no, I hear. I my know, money. dude. Get out of it. Get out of it. Uh, I'm, I'm they with AIB. They borrow money based better. on the money that I gave them. Yes, and then charge and you then for that. And they make money. And then they yeah. charge me for that. Yeah. Uh, so my, my account got upgraded, though, so that's that's swell. And then that's I got great. to see where well, all that money goes. Um, 
Yes, you know, fixing, glitches. <laughs> fixing glitches. Fixing glitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bastards. Shitty app. Um, the app was down for a day. I couldn't transfer money. My own money. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, you see, dude, that's not good. That's why, you know, this like this movement or the, this, this kind of push to go cashless is fucking bullshit. Mm. Don't do it. People, withdraw your money and spend cash in places. Yeah, take all do your not. money. Everybody, if everybody listening, yeah. take all yeah. your money out at the same time. So everybody yes. goes to the bank yeah. right now. Yeah, bank, do it. Every, take, take your money out. Everybody, everybody. But, Take all your money out at the same time. But uh, but uh, yeah, don't use cards. Don't use cards. Withdraw. Use cash and fuck cards. I can't remember. Uh, cards are great for cash. Yeah, like I, I, I like you know, I, 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 I won't say that. It's been at least four years since I've used cash. I would say. Oh, Brian, Brian, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, you gotta use cash. Nah. Use cash. It's better for society. It's not. That's nonsense. That's nonsense. It's um, all cash. I think you're nonsense. It's, still, it's all uh, cash. If, if, so long as it updates immediately or you know, close to... Cash will be yeah. worth... Look, if, if society ca- collapses, your cash will be worthless. Yeah, what would you, what would you, if if society collapse and cash is worthless and you know all of all of everything is meaningless? Uh, what skills do you bring to the table? Oh man, so many. Well, you can fight. So many skills. Um, I I I I I think outside the box. Mm-hmm. I'm a lateral thinker. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, uh, which you really put me on the spot here now. Um, I mean, we'll, we'll, what do you need done? I can do it. No, um, no I'm just asking. I'm just in, uh, you know, kind of like what uh, do you bring to the table? Irrigation systems. I I can make one of those. Okay. Yeah. Definitely I, I think how to make one of those. I think I could cook. I think I think I can cook. You can cook. You know, as in like, well, yeah, like <laughs> cook, cook. <laughs> I can cook. <laughs> you can cook. <laughs> I can cook in whatever way <laughs> capacity you need me to. Uh, whatever, whatever you find satisfying, I can do it. <laughs> yep. Uh, but uh, yeah, like I, I'm, I, I've, I've, I've often kind of been concerned about that. That I can, you know, post-apocalyptic. But what are you going to cook? Uh, That's the thing. If it's collapsed, then oh. you know foods. Oh no, no, like gone. I mean, like kind of like yeah, no, like if if there's like shit things around, like less like you know, as in like kind of like if there's a weird mishmash or whatever. I know, I know, I can MacGyver it into something tasty, and that's that's the truth. You know, if, if it was like noodles, scallions, big beans, and like I don't know, pork chops and something else weird. And like, how are you, how are you gonna how are you gonna like boil water? I no, see this is what I'm trying to say. I I have like I have those type of resourceful skills. Boiling water. I can use yeah. I can use a kettle. Right. A stove. Society has collapsed now though, so the the power mm-hmm. grid's down. Okay. So you can't use a kettle. I have a pencil case full of lighters. Okay. All right. But that's... it's a long pencil case. It's like, it's like forearm length. Forearm length pencil case full of lighters. And then what size the lighters though? Is it just like Average, three just regular really mix. long lighters or no, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's it's about, I'd say it's about 20, 25, just regular size Bic lighters. Right. So I have that. So I'll cook like but, one uh, meal probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless I burn stuff with it. You mean to pr- preserve it or, or what are you talking? I know, well, I'm just rethinking now. Maybe the only thing I can bring to the table is a pencil case full of lighters. <laughs> pencil case of lighters. <laughs> and the ability to burn things. Um, Set things alight. But that's it, man. I don't, I'm always, I would like, cause, like, tattoos are going to be meaningless. Who who the fuck will no, want no, or care you, about you tattoos? got to brand your slaves. Well, this is also it. I could, we could, like, you know, I could do, like, the whole face tattoos for our weird cult, cannibal yeah. cult. Well, we'd have to have, I mean, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have to go straight to cannibal. It would be a cult, though. It would. It would be. Yeah. Yeah, but like, why would we have face tattoos if we're not some sort of cannibal cult? Plus, it's not illegal. You see, murder is murder is illegal. See, Eating people isn't. I don't think that's true. 
Um, that is true. That is true. Mm, because because mm, it's true. It's true mm, because that Italian rugby team that crashed in the Alps and they had to eat other people. They were never going to get charged for that because in terms of survival, you might have to do that. I so think it's not illegal to eat uh, people. I don't think that's why they didn't charge them. <laughs> Well, I have not been arrested yet, so okay. there's your. Well, the thing is, you know, uh, with baby meat, baby meat's like fish, falls apart, apparently. Flaky, flaky, flaky. Yeah, that's 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 a wild, that's a wild piece of information that's out there. Who's eating babies though? The Hollywood elite. They're only drinking their blood. Uh, well, and even then, they're only drinking Mark the blood for the adrenochrome. They're not. They're not. Apparently, well, I did see. Apparently, Mark Wahlberg is having a meeting with Mel Gibson about how to take down the Hollywood Holly Weird elite. Uh, uh, ice tea or ice cubes? Or somebody said no to being invited to a party where uh, people are eating babies, drinking blood. Mark Wahlberg said no. Apparently, Mark Wahlberg is is, is out and against it. Right. That's only because uh, he wants they, to make they, his burgers from babies. But also, he wants he wants of, the baby supply to make burgers. He wants the baby supplies for his burger chain, fish burgers. I um, but also this is on TikTok, and it's just like wow, like people can just like spout any people any can say any any nonsense, wild nonsense. And you look at the comments, and you look at the comments, and there's those people that are like, yes, oh, what was it? They were all going on like search for freedom or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> so. That film, your which 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 is your guy, my guy. He's lost his mind. He's lost his mind. He's lost his damn mind. He's lost his damn mind. Person of interest, uh, certainly less interesting uh, now. Less interesting now, or more interesting, less likable. Um, I, less likable. Less likable. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know, but he, he's it's a scary place. Oh, he's gone off the deep end. But like the, the the wild thing is, just, what happens to these people? That film. What what happens is. They stop getting work and they start looking for things to blame. And then they. Oh, all go <laughs> white, super, white man syndrome. They all go super it's, right wing there. Yeah. It's then, everyone else's fault. Yeah, it's my views. I get you. It's my views are the reason I'm not getting work. Yes, yes. It's, it's not because, because I'm, I'm against to drinking work baby with blood. Or, yeah. I'd, I'd never drink baby blood. <laughs> Let the record show. Never? Yeah. Never, I'd never. No, well, no, you know, well, no, yeah, well, not kombucha. Not pulpit, pu- 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 yeah, well, cannibal cult. Cannibal uh, cult. But yeah. do, have you heard the story about this? No, Looking, please. I don't even know the full details because I'm, I'm not, excited I'm not to learn. Interested. Um, it's this. I don't know where to start because there's this kind of so many threads to it. There's a film. What's the name of the film? Search for Freedom or something. Something Freedom. Something Freedom with Jim Caviezel. And it's based on a real person. Okay, okay. I don't know this. Yep, Go on. It's based on a real person. And he, I don't know, was he former army or police or something? But he... So, sorry, Sound, Sound of, freedom. of Freedom. And he was involved in anti-trafficking, child trafficking. Saved the yes. kids. Yeah, um, which is great. Which is great. And the thing is, like, saving kids and protecting kids is always, like, it's always the entry point into the most bananas conspiracy things because you can't okay. be against saving kids, right? Uh, you can't be against you know, it. I'm against it. You're against it. Okay. That's yeah. good. good for you. I think, I think, I think we should have, good I think we should have uh, less numbers, less, less people. Right. Too many peeps. Too many peeps. Go on, I'm only joking. Go on. Um, so that's the thing. So any 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 sort of any conspiracy Pushback. that that you know becomes like it, it eventually becomes like something homophobic or transphobic or Islamophobic or something. But they all start with you know protecting kids is good, right? Somebody you know, think of the children. Protecting kids is think of the children. Protecting kids is good. It's like, yeah, yeah you, you'd be, you, you're for protecting kids, right? Yeah, of course I am. Do you know the trans people are killing kids or they're doing whatever? It's like, oh my God, oh no. Well, I've just said I'm, I'm for saving kids. So I guess I've got to be anti this thing now. So, yeah. 
so e even though even though the film is based on a real guy, pretty much anything that you know is about that subject matter, it, it tends to get adopted or swept up by in the, the far QAnon and, and, and the QAnon yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So the film's based on a real guy. Some of the people behind it insist that it's not it's not the QAnon movie. It's not about that. It's not. But the, but they adopted it for sure. And but, film, and and, when, and that the actor has been very like outspoken about this stuff. They have made him the know. spokesperson for the film, and he's yeah. he's he's crazy down banana pants. So it's well, but the the film became massively popular and successful. But in a very weird, they, they were giving away tickets on the website. So if you went onto the website for the film, yes, they still are and, apparently. Yeah. Um, th here's the thing: I think they basically bought its box office success right mm. but at the same time you you had videos then of people going to the cinema and saying there's nobody here I'm the only person in the screening because they're suppressing the movie Hollywood is suppressing the movie mm. it's like, mm. but how how can it be doing really well in the box office if nobody's going to see it it's almost like somebody's paying for tickets for this thing Yes, and, uh, its numbers are inflated, and it's not actually so. Nobody was actually going to see it, uh, partially because they were probably boosting its sales by pumping money into it, so that they could say, "Look at this successful film." But at the same time, then they were also able to say, "Hollywood is suppressing this film. They don't want you to see it. Uh, they don't want you to see the the QAnon movie because it's speaking truth." And then a week or two ago, one of the producers behind it was arrested for fucking. Child sexual assault images or something, um, but one of the people who made it research Brian research one of the people who made it is a child sex offender, and now the people who are saying that like it's it's the movie's being suppressed or whatever, rather than going oh my god we were wrong, they're saying they framed them. They f it's a frame yeah, job. I the, knew, yeah. the anti child trafficking yeah. movie was made by you know somebody who'd probably be involved in child trafficking and. It's just weird that you can confront somebody with reality like that, and they're just like, "No, it's um, this is more proof of the conspiracy." Yeah, it's wild. Yeah, yeah, and it's like I, I also love the fact that like you know Hollywood suppressing these movies, and it's just like, no, they're not though. Taken has there's there's been three takens. There's been a Taken TV series. Walking Phoenix did that movie. You were never really here, which is it's a great movie. It's fucking bleak. Yeah, but it's like. It's about trafficking and all that kind of stuff. Like, uh, Denzel nobody's seen Washington, that one though. Equalizer, Equalizer Two, because uh, it's too real. Or the first Equalizer, uh, Equalizer Three is out now, but um, which is you know, great. I love Denzel. Do you like Denzel? I do. He's become a bit of. He's preachy. Not even preachy. It's just you know when when somebody. But I like him. You see, you see one person do you know a spot on impression of an actor, and then the next time you see them, it's almost like the actor's doing an impression of themselves. You know, yes, they become like a, a a cartoon version of themselves. Yeah, live you either live you die a hero, live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Uh, Denzel has transcended into god form, and uh, we wait to see what happens next. You never know, and um, but I like Denzel. Uh, I like Denzel. Still friends, still friends with Dakota Fanning. Uh, a Man on Fire is one of my favorite movies. It's a good film. Yes, but it's um, all about child trafficking. Well, there you go. Like, kind is of this like, the child trafficking episode it? of the podcast? We should have done more research. Um, we should have done more research. We should have. I, I, you know what? I, I wouldn't because that's how they'll get you. That's how they get you. That's how they'll get you. Do your own research. Then all of a sudden, but then all of a sudden, you know, you've been suicided. That's it. And they have images on your computer. You say one you know? bad word about Tom Hanks and then suddenly you end up suicided. Yeah, I like, I like, uh, Emer likes Tom Hanks. She also likes Oprah, uh, which is great for me. Uh, I like to spout the, uh, the, the, the nonsense to Emer. Drives her mad. It's I don't great. like Oprah. I don't like Oprah. She's uh, let's not get into it. <laughs> Dr. Phil and Dr. Oz. Uh, yeah. To name two. Yeah. Two doctors. Two doctors with with I would say she's a terrible human. poor, poor uh, medical conduct, but uh, 
not a fan either. I'm not a fan. I did like Oprah back in the day when I was in primary school. You know, Oprah you was were great. A child. Oh my Fred. God, you were a child. Child trafficking. This is all coming. Oh coming my circle, God, you full were circle. A child once. Fucking hell. Um. Yeah, I was. That's scary. That That's is scary. scary. That's Thank scary God, I'm think. not anymore. That's scary to think. Uh, it's good I'm not anymore going out of that stage in my life uh, oh my finger stuck in this thing to anybody who can't see his finger is in his butt <laughs> yes it's got out, oh, it's, out butt, right. it's fine it was my thumb but um, yeah so remember when anyways, people would tell you that your thumb is not a finger no okay you never had that but people told you that People try to tell so. me that recall. in primary school. They're like, "No, it's a, it's a thumb, it's not a finger." It's like, it's oh yeah, finger. people say four fingers and a thumb, and it's just like, "Hang on now, Dip that's five shit. fingers." Yeah, it's a finger. Yeah, this is true. It's a finger. Yeah. How dare? How dare anybody try to tell me? <laughs> um, gaslighting me. Gaslighting. Telling, that is shocking. telling my own. Brian. Telling me my own fingers aren't fingers. Brian, Brian. do me a favor. List the months of the year. The months of the year. Yes. In what order? Just just the the, the generic. Uh, what would you call that order? The regular order. I don't know. In in the Gregorian calendar. That's what, that's what I wanted to say. Yes, I was going to say Greenwich, <laughs> Gregorian. Yeah. Anytime. It's not a hard question. Um, there used to be a calendar on my wall back there. I'm going to look at that just to make sure okay. I get this right. Yeah. yeah, take your time. That's a good shot. All, all 12 of them? Yeah, just, 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 just uh, you know, in chronological order that they normally appear in the Gregorian calendar. January. Mm-hmm. So you want them in chronological order? So when I said what yeah, order, just, and you said any, you meant chronological. No, I, I try to correct myself and say uh, the Gregorian traditional order. February, mm-hmm. March, mm-hmm. April. Yeah, yeah. May, mm-hmm. Juan, mm-hmm. Juillet, mm-hmm. August. Yes. September. Yeah. Very good. October. Excellent. November. Mm-hmm. And uh, December. You did a great... According to the calendar on my wall. You did a great job there, Brian. <laughs> now... Thanks. What seasons do those fa- months fall into? Oh, yeah. November, December, January is winter. Mm-hmm. That's what I was taught. That's what you were taught. That's what I was February, taught. March, and April. Spring. Hells yeah. May, June, July, summer. Absolutely. August, September, October. Autumn. 100%. They right. don't teach it that way anymore. That's crazy. March 1st is I the was first aware of this. Of spring. You were aware That's of nonsense. this. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Let's talk about it. Let's get into so, it. Sp- yeah, so, into so now you have spring, which is March, April, May. May has now been... I would would you say downgraded from summer to spring, or would you say upgraded from summer to spring? I would say it's a bit of a downgrade. I think summer is the most popular season. Summer is the best. Uh, I I beg to differ, but so now summer is June, July, August. So August has been upgraded to the summer, depending on your view, apparently. But uh, and our winter is, oh sorry. And then autumn is September, October, November, and winter is December, January, and February. Now, have they changed it to reflect like our climate? Yes, it makes sense. Yes, that's yeah, why they, that's why they sense. changed it. But they're teaching it. They're teaching it that way in schools now. I I wouldn't be worried about I wouldn't be worried about a, a, a drag a drag queen reading to my children, but like I'm concerned, concerned. That we weren't. What are they teaching kids about the weather? What are they teaching kids about the weather? I'm concerned that we weren't we weren't uh, included in the conversation. And what, that's the thing. Why weren't we included? Why weren't we included? I mean, I'll never have kids, but that's important to me. That is important. 
But uh, do you think we had a good summer? Weather-wise? No. No, okay. No. I think we did. But uh, only because I don't like all this heat and sun. And it's been hot and sunny for ages. And I've been melting, I feel, the whole summer. But then Ian was just like, you're mad. It's It's been an awful summer. It's rained loads. It rained. It was too wet. And then... You see, what, you, what we wanted, what we want is just, you know, a few weeks, at least six weeks of warm, but not too hot, definitely dry. But you don't think we had six weeks of that, or we had, we had four weeks of it, nah, definitely. I don't think we had four. No, no way. Any listeners based in Ireland who uh, would like to get in on this hot debate, call now on 1-800-THE-ENDLESS-STREAM. That's one eight hundred. The endless stream. That's right. You have to call number. You have to call letters. Call zero zero three five three. Please don't call that number. That number again. <laughs> that, that's a that's a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Do not call that number. Uh, please, Aiden, cut that. I've had this number since I'm twelve. I don't want another number. <laughs> uh, Leap that out, I guess. Leap it out. Yeah, there. Or don't. No, do do. Uh, <laughs> that is. The last thing I need, God Almighty. Even though, even though, realistically, like if I say like, "Oh, Puka tattoo on Instagram," like, yep, I'm just as contactable. <laughs> but still, do not, do not use my number, Aiden. Please cut that out. Um. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. The 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 years, the months are changing right before my eyes. Or your eyes. Your youth is spent. Yes. Oh, it's long gone. Long gone. Um, That's why you need that adrenochrome. This episode brought to you. <laughs> adrenochrome. Adrenochrome. <laughs> uh, For all my adrenochrome needs, I get mine from AC1. <laughs> but um, speaking of needs. Adrenochrome. Adrenochrome. I, I went to... Um, Ma- Mama Yo Mama Yo which is a I believe let me check this before I uh, insult or spell it or, oh no 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 it's Mama Yo for sure I'm not I'm not worried about that I just don't want to um, miss a label it's a Chinese restaurant it's a Chinese restaurant uh, it was good quality kind of like really really good quality Chinese takeaway food if you get me it was it was nice it was it was it was where is that? K- Candom, Candom Street. Uh, not very far from the Shaw or the Bleeding Horse. Not very far from Bleeding Horse, but up towards that, uh, George Street. But um, I went there last night with Emer and two of her friends. Uh, lovely, lovely people. But uh, I-, I know the people quite well at this stage, but uh, they're nice folks. But yes, uh, I-, I-, I was on their website then t- yesterday before I was going to dinner. I was like, you know, I'm going to check out the menu, see what's up. And they're famous for their duck, their roasted duck. And I was just like, I love duck. I'll try some duck, you know. You have to give them 48 hours notice before you order your duck. So I wasn't able to get the duck. You should have ordered it, though. <sighs> I mean, wasn't able to. Be having it. wasn't able to. I should have ordered 48 yeah. hours in the past. Yeah. You could be ducking it up right now. Yeah, yeah, but I was I was intrigued enough that I uh, potentially could go back there. Um, and the waiter was our waiter was lovely. He was from Greece. Uh, could not believe I wasn't uh, Spanish or what? Did he 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 first he thought he was Italian, and then I said no, and he was like Spanish, and I was like oh no 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 no, and then he he was trying to think of what I could be. I was like no no I'm I'm Irish. And it, and it went on for a while, and then he thought I looked a lot like one of his friends, and started showing me pictures of his friend on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> and did you did you just have eyebrows eyebrows and a beard was it a beard and eyebrows it was an eyebrow beard and hair you know combo okay. but uh, like you know he was a handsome man you know I think he was probably I, I, I probably think he was a bit more handsome than, my, than myself but um, but uh, you'd be surprised you'd be surprised how often that happens to me you've probably been there a number of times where people have just produced phones to me and be like look you look like this person and it's just like cool thanks thanks Thank you. Thanks for that. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for sharing. 
wonderful piece of information. Yeah. That's, that's great. Yep. Yep. Um, but no, yeah, kind of 48 hours to get the notice for Duck. But I want to try it. Have you watched anything good recently, Brian? Mm, no. Don't think so. Have I? I don't think I have. No. Did you watch season three of The Witcher? No. No, nor have I. I turned it off after a couple of minutes. Oh. It just looked so cheap. Oh, right. Okay, dude. Jeez. It looks awful. No, I didn't watch it. It just, it, op- it opens with a fight scene. That looks like they, you know, spent enough time choreographing. But then the way it was shot looks, it looks like a fucking, a reel. Looks like a fucking demo reel for a stunt team or something. Jesus. It just <laughs> looks... Especially when you compare it to like the kind of opening, or not well, an opening scene, the, the fight scene from the first episode, mm, you know, mm. from season one, which is great. <gasps> yep. Um, it's probably the same people involved. But it's a different mean, director it's, or whatever. It's the same Henry Cavill. I wouldn't even say it's the director, I'd just say it's just the money that they had and the quality. Like it just looks, it looks like they shot it in a field in Wicklow somewhere. And, but like, but with just that, like just just cameras and a like in a field, like, uh, here, yeah. here'll do, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. as opposed to because I mean, there's there's tons of stuff that are shot in fields in Wicklow that looks phenomenal. Yeah, yeah I know what you're you know? saying. Yeah, but it just looked it just looked like dog shit, and I was like, I'm out. Yikes! Fuck this. Yikes! I'm out. Uh, I've I've not watched much. Um, I did I did have a friend over a couple of weeks ago, and I watched seven Fast and Furious movies in a row. Uh, yeah, that was brutal. That was. I, I'm not even being a snob when I say, but like, the effect that would have on me would be worse than like eating junk food mm. for days straight. It really would. It just, I watch that kind of stuff and it just bums me out so much. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we, we were watching it in a very kind of, you know, we were having a good laugh at it at its expense, if you get me. So that was kind of entertaining, but uh, I I watched them. Um, if I ever do that, it's because I'm in a major depressive episode. Yeah, you're you're yeah you're spiraling. Fair, good to good yeah. to know. Um, but I, I, I I'm not I'm not even being funny. No, if I was no. if I was to do that rather than like getting up or going outside or doing anything else, if I go, I'm just gonna watch Fast and Furious films. Yeah. I'm in a bad way to do that. Yeah. And I'm, it's funny, but I'm not. Bad. Yes, I know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, well, look, as someone who's did it, I wouldn't recommend it. But um, there's there is there's plenty of movies that I wouldn't mind binging. Uh, I was talking to my friend who had his accident, and we were talking for a couple of hours yesterday. And uh, we were saying that next time he's at home, that he wants to do something like that with us, you know. So uh, we were potentially like kind of going through different. Has he not been through enough? Uh, well, no, he does want to do Fast and Furious. We were maybe saying Indiana Jones or even Mission Impossible, because okay. um, I've not seen Mission Impossible uh, like past the second one or something. But uh, really? yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like none. Past the second one, no. Really? Yeah. Wow. I started watching one with you before, or we had it on on a night before we were going out or something. Yeah. Uh, but that was it. It's worth watching. Oh no, hey, I, I, dude, dude, like it, it, it's it basically them. Fast and the Furious, but like fully, very similar see, premises. I'm fully aware, but just but better, better and, and, yeah, action. And, and, yeah. and, and grounded. Yeah, you know, not grounded, but you know what I mean. Like, um, I would say the first one is great. Um, like it's very over the top, but it's great. For, yeah, remember, it still holds. I know up the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second one, also great, for what it is. The only, the only thing really bad about the second one is uh, the new metal soundtrack. Which which you'd love. Which I'd love. Yeah. Yeah. But uh it's got probably it's Tom Cruise's best or second best hair. Yes, I know the one. I know the I know the uh, I know the one. His 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 best probably last being, time right. Last no. Time right, no? Oh, no man, last time right. No. It's good. Oh, it's great. Yeah, no. Uh, his hair's great, but I'd say Okay, so here it is. Let's say top four. Okay. I'm not sure about the order exactly now. Okay. Mission Impossible 2 is number one. Oh, number one, okay. Four hair. Okay. Four hair, probably. Okay. This is two. This is, Brian, this is great stuff. Keep going. Two, Magnolia. Oh, really? The slick back thing? That's where he. F- 
it's not always slick back for the whole film, but it's also it's the first time that he busted out the top knot, and it was just like, wow, that's a that's a look, that's a bold look. Yeah, uh, three vanilla sky. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then four, last time right. Oh wow. Okay. Because I I would I would definitely rate. Uh, okay. So you interesting. You like his hair in Mission Impossible Two. It is good hair. Um. Yes, that movie. That, I think my I I really the only way is something you just associate, and I'm sure you're the same. Shout out to Dave. Dave's great. Uh, but you probably uh, associate some movies and things with your brother mm-hmm. individually to him. Mission Impossible Two is one of those things that I really associate with my older brother. I think he was kind of like really into it, bought it, but he. But I was right. shocked to hear that he didn't watch any past season of Mission Impossible Two as well. That's wild. Yeah. Three is. Let's we'll get back to the hair in a minute. Three is. Well, we move on from here. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Three is okay. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman is in three and he's excellent. Yes, he's brilliant. Um, so it's J.J. J. Abrams. It, it's not very good. Okay. The first time I saw it, I was just like, wow, this is cool. And then once it's over, you're just kind of like, eh. Final act is rubbish. Philip Seymour Hoffman is fantastic in it. So watch it for that. Fourth one, not great. People loved it because it was Brad Bird and they said, oh, this is amazing and Brad Bird's amazing. It's like, it's not great. It's got the Burj Khalifa scene, which is superb. I don't know Watch it. Watch it for that okay. alone. Um, it's the when he's scaling. The we can do. We can building. Yeah, in Dubai. Yeah, the big massive one. Yeah, yeah. Fourth one. Fourth one's fourth one's better than the third one. Mm-hmm. Um, and then fifth one, great. It's the first one where Christopher McQuarrie directed. It's the first time Rebecca Ferguson's in it. She's great. Christopher McQuarrie is good. Fifth one's good. Sixth one. Sixth one's probably the best. It's got some amazing action sequences in it. Mm-hmm. The kind of stuff that Fast and Furious wishes it was doing, mm-hmm. except it's doing it for real because Tom Cruise is a, is a lunatic. And then the latest one is good. Not as good as Fallout. As good as okay. the fifth one, maybe. Okay. Worth watching. Um, uh, you have to watch them with me. Yeah, we can do that, buddy. Come up. Let's yeah. do it. How many is there? With me. Seven. Yeah, fucking we do that in a day, man. Please come up. Let's 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 put in the diary. We have to fucking go in all these up and down to Cork for forty. It's and all that jazz. Sure, we need it. We need our day, Brian. Where's our day? That's true. Yeah, uh, let's do it. Um, although we're even really only this year when you think about it. We're even. Why? Because you come up once and I've been down once. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. That is fair, um, but back to the actually, hair, Brian. Well, kind of even because you did come up. No, you're right. Oh wait, no, no, you weren't there for me. No, 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 no. But you came up. Remember, no, 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 remember, we saw it's always sunny together. That's true. And then you basically sat my dog. Yeah, those were two separate occasions. Yeah. So you got to come down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to be there in December, so that's not for me, though. Yeah, yeah, true. And when you were down, that was for Podge as well. That was yeah. also not for me. So. Yeah. So yeah, good old Podge. Um, but uh, tapas is bullshit, though, isn't it? Oh, it depresses me, Brian. Do you know for the listener, Kevin's face is disgusted do you know he's upset brian you were saying there that like you know fast and furious you watch seven movies of a row that you'd be mm-hmm. uh that's you spiraling me suggesting to go to tapas is me spiraling i got sick well i don't think that was the drink brian i got sick factor i can't remember the last time i got sick factor of yeah because you're normally too drunk to remember you fucking yes yes absolute fucking why no but i had as much to drink last weekend and less food I was fine. Yeah. Or, I mean, the previous weekend. Yeah, but you know, kind of. I was. It was the food. This depends. Is that chicken, man? That chicken wasn't great. Well, you, 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 you have a, you have a. What would you call it? Um, an eating disorder. No, an aversion to, or you, you're like a. Very fussy when it comes to chicken. Not fussy, but you know what I mean. There's a word. Yeah, but I ate it. But. Um, yeah, but okay, well, you were sick the next day. Sure, look, it happens. It happens. We had a great night, though. It was so much fun. We had a great night. It was the best. Um, Cork is always one of my favorite cities to visit. Um, but uh, what else have I been watching? I did watch... 
Uh, I've read a lot of comics, but we won't get into that, sure, because no one cares about comics apparently anymore. But uh, um, I did read. You know, I don't know if you're aware of the character Shatterstar. Yes. Yeah, I've, I've gone down the rabbit hole. I think he's great. And I read a, a book of Shatterstar that came out in like 2019, and I really liked it. Um, it's probably awful, but I thought it was really good. Um, I don't know what's good and bad anymore. I just who wrote I know it? what I like. Um, who wrote it? A talented writer. Uh, and the art is a combination of good and bad. I'll be honest with you. Um, is it one artist? Uh, I think it's two artists because there's kind of the show stuff from the current time and in the past. And I like the artwork of the guy in the past a bit more. Um, but um, I quite, but I, I do, I, I actually, excuse me, genuinely liked uh, the book. It was good fun. Who wrote it? Uh, their their surname is Seely. There's a few names there. I don't know. Anyways, it was good. But no, I was going to say, I uh, read a few comics. I read The Bird King and Raiders by Crom. I think you introduced me to Crom originally. I have Raiders. I don't have The Bird King. I want to get The Bird King. Yes, the Bird. He's great. I think you you showed me him originally, I think. Yep. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really like Crom. Uh, He's awesome. Yes. And uh, I support Crom on the Patreon, um, which I enjoy because they do they do cool drops of their sketchbook and you can go through pages and stuff i don't know if you nice. if you follow them there but uh i don't do many i don't do many um patreons at all i support decaf it's local and it's good to support uh crown because i genuinely like their output and the stuff that they do and i love their stuff and, uh, so much eric powell like cool. goes goes without saying why but um Crom stuff is great, really really great uh and i read the bird i would love a whole game of crumbs style like a video game yeah yeah like he's doing good it wouldn't you know wouldn't be the out of the the the, the out of this world that it could happen you know the oh, no. realm of possibility. Could, i could see it happening um it. but i do like crime stuff so i read those two books and i really enjoyed them Burking 2 is coming out in october or something like that cool. uh and i think it's just going straight to graphic novel i'm not too sure but uh no and i actually got crimes versus for procreate and they're kind of fun playing around with them as well but oh, um cool yeah uh, didn't realize they had brushes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know how I didn't realize they had brushes. Yes. Um, but they're great. Do you know what though? I've bought somebody's brushes more than once. <laughs> really? <laughs> have you ever done? Have you ever done that? Uh, no. I've, no. Yeah, I've bought brushes and then they go okay, and I open Procreate and then they're in there twice. I'm like, oh fuck. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these brushes already. I got some nice brushes, though. I sent, I'll send you them. Send me your emails. Uh, cool. But um, so yeah, uh, we're, yeah. So basically, kind of on our combos there, you know, really enjoyed it. Uh, combos. Re, re, like I said, reading some Shatter Star, so it w- was really good as well. But uh, so yeah, I read a few comic books. Um, I read Minor Threats by Patton Oswald. Oh yes. And I can't remember the artist. It's something like Sean. Headburners, Sean something, I think. Uh, that was great. Really, really enjoyed that book. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I read Shatterstar, Minor Threats, Burger King, Raiders. Because I had a week off, so I was able to dabble and read a bit more. Um, the book I have picked up at the moment that I'm reading, uh, what I'm going to read is uh, Chroma. Or Chroma. Krom- Chroma. No, Chroma, I think. K-R-O-M-A or something like that. Uh, kind of, it's it's you, you'd love it. Just, I'll send you. I'll send you pictures and stuff. It looks cool. Nice. Um, and it was really great because yesterday I went for a walk with Bjog, and it was raining and stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna nip into the old Patreon, Patreon sin, um, and they let dogs inside. So I had my sketchbook with me. I had a comics, and I just had a nice beer, drawn away. And then Emer came to lunchtime, and Emer came up. And we had lunch in there, and then we went back together. But fucking, what a great, you know. That sounds like a great. Thing. Oh, lovely, 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 lovely. But um, uh, I also watched this week, and I don't know if you watched it. Uh, it was beautiful. It's a lovely show. It's so much. It's so endearing and wholesome. Uh, Down with love on Netflix. I've seen it, as in I've seen the tile or thumbnail. Whatever, the thumbnail yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. I, I Eamon and I both really liked Love in the Spectrum. And uh, yeah, down. I just can't do reality TV. Um, I I think this like I I really struggle as well, Brian. Right, but I think this. I'm just, I'm just so aware of when they're holding longer on a shot 
to make something seem more awkward. Than oh yeah, or, or something like somewhat sentimental. And yeah, yeah I, and look, I, just, I get it. I can't watch it. I hate it. Yeah, fair. And I, 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 and I'm not against the concept behind those shows. But well, geez, I hope you're not. Reality TV, I just can't. Do it. Yeah, fair. Well, I look, kind of like I get you. Uh, there's some of it I just I can't watch it. I like, as in I can't even have it on. And like, look, I, I, but like, we, we, everybody has their vice. Like, there's loads of you know me. I, ca- I can watch some amount of shit. Uh, but even with some of the like the the reality TV things, I just can't. Like, I can't. Mm-hmm. Like any of that kind of like any of the stuff that kind of like any of that kind of like superly rich you know, Kardashians toxic stuff yeah 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 just can't can't do it man can't do it yeah. it is it is v- vile that stuff is really bad for you. yes I think so I think so too dude it, there, it's just it not is. good for people you're not you'd have to be able to watch it in a really detached way to not let it get to you and then even then it's it's back to that kind of fast and furious thing like look if you enjoy it that's fine yeah each their own but I can't watch it. I can't. I, like, it, it, like, even there was one of, like, um, there was one of, uh, it was a TV show on Netflix, and it was about uh, a, a kind of afternoon rich uh, Asian people. Um, I can't think of the name of it, but it, it, it could, it, I can't think of the name of it, you know? Um, but uh, so fake, so bad, and all those people are so mean to each other, and you can see them not being nice to each other. It's like all that Georgie Shore and Essex and stuff, like, yeah. no, I, ca- I can't do stuff like that. I can do stuff like Down With Love and Love With A Spectrum. It's mm-hmm. f- it's it's done in a suit. I think it's done in an empathetic, considerate way. And Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm not saying it's not, but it's just, I've seen clips from, like, Love On The Spectrum, for example, you know, where they just kind of, like, pause on a thing to make the conversation seem a bit more awkward than it is, or... Or the the music's quirky or something. It's just like don't. It's the same with like I I used to love fucking um, Attenborough stuff, and then I just became aware of when they're not really showing it. They're not, they're not showing reality as reality. I know what you're saying when they're kind of and they're they're constructing a kind of thing. It's a narrative. Like, don't do that. Just just show, especially when you're a documentary. Yeah. You know. Yeah, just show me the stuff. Cause especially, I, I'm like particularly with the nature stuff. I'm watching it just for the photography first. Oh yeah, and then, you know, then the the yeah. information kind of second. But Attenborough is so he's not he's barely involved with a lot of that stuff anymore. You know, yeah, he just kind of narrates it. <laughs> nothing yeah. else. And then they they just kind of construct these. Like I'm sure the thing really happened, like with the what is it, the lizard trying to escape from all the snakes? Yeah, that's clearly constructed from a bunch of different edits. Edits. You know? Well, um, and, uh, and the music as well, and the sound effects. Yeah. the sound effects and stuff on top. It's like this is fake. Well, I can't. Well, I, can't uh, I think you're wrong, but I get what you're saying. Um, but um, but yes. So that one love, I enjoyed it. Super wholesome sentimental lovely stuff uh, a good insight into into kind of people with Down syndrome and stuff I, 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 mm-hmm. I've I met and known people and uh, mm-hmm. kind of but this was a, another nice kind of a insight into their lifestyle and how they think and stuff but um, which is good uh, yes like there, there should be more of that yeah for sure. 100% um, yeah. Uh, it was a great it was I, I found it really some of the people in it massively impressive like it's crazy um, and yeah. But uh, also, I watched. Uh, we've been. We've started watching the new Only Murders in the Building. I fucking love that show. I don't care if it's like bad or people don't like it or whatever. Just Martin I, I don't Short think it's bad. I was thinking Steve about Martin. it. Oh god, yeah. like they just every fucking thing, man. I just. I'm always just like. <laughs> it's just like I, I can't help myself. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I love it. I was it. thinking about kind of like one of. The, I, I, I know we've talked about it before, but like one of the things I don't like about it is. It's just kind of a bit toothless. What do you mean? I think if the characters swear in it. Sometimes they swear quite a bit. I haven't noticed that. Yeah, you don't notice because the the rest of it is so clean and polished. And then when they do swear, I find it kind of jarring. And I think they swear just to try add, just to sort of heighten the the tension or drama in it because other than that it's a very all ages show very low stakes all ages kind of show and it's fine I, yeah. I do like it I love it Um, I think it's gotten better season to season mm-hmm, for mm-hmm. sure okay 
Uh, That's great. I love Steve Martin and Mark oh, Short. They're great. Selena Gomez is great as well. But, she's uh, good in it. She's yeah. very good. I, I, I only know her from this. Yeah, I same. couldn't, I couldn't. She, she was on a Disney show as a kid and then had a singing career. And she was, maybe? she was on. I, she is that right? I yeah, don't even but, know. Uh, here, look, like kind of like I believe you are right, you know. Uh, yeah. But she was also in a movie I did watch where I really liked her in it, and it, she was excellent. It was with Paul Rudd. I think it was called like the Importing or the Fundamentals of Caring or something. Uh, and Paul Rudd is caring for a uh, a younger a younger a younger adult with like say disabilities and stuff. Um, I think he's confined to a wheelchair, and he kind of brings him on this big great road trip, and they meet Selena Gomez or Selena Gomez is somebody that they kind of they end up bringing along the way. You know, she's a little bit um uh she comes from a different walk of uh, walk of life probably uh yeah more more harder walk of life you know but um they all just come together and bond and uh that's a really nice movie i really really like that movie but um but uh yeah uh but i, I like selena gomez uh the support the support act the support crew in it are great paul rudd is in season three which is you know good crack and stuff um i know and meryl streep and meryl streep my god yeah she's brilliant in it but i know uh she's really really good in it but um i know uh People, there's a few other, there's another bigger actor or two, and I can't remember. But uh, I know people. Um, Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane. He hasn't been in this season yet, though, has he? I don't know. Don't know him. I'd have to see him. Um, Nathan Lane? Yeah. Timon. Oh, right. Okay. From Birdcage. Birdcage. I was just going to say Birdcage. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. I just don't know his name. But uh, yes, he is excellent. Oh, sure. He's in all the other seasons, so He just hasn't been in this one yet. He's in season one and two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, he'll be back yeah, for an episode. Well, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I was kind of disappointed though Paul Rudd wasn't paying himself. But then I suppose he's too liked to, yeah. to be an asshole. Because the way Sting played himself in it and stuff, that was yeah. good fun. Um, but isn't he also dead at the end of the second season? Isn't that how the second season ended? Paul Rudd dies. Well, the character he's playing. So. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Um, but obviously there's flashbacks and different things, you know, so he's in it, yeah. he's in it a little bit. But uh, but it's just funny. Do you know the way like Paul Rudd is meant to be like everybody kind of talks about how he doesn't age and he still looks good and all that kind of stuff. There's bits in this where he's like, by the way, shooting a, a TV show in the 90s and it's just like, no, <laughs> Paul Rudd <laughs> has aged, you know? Yeah. It's like when yeah. you put him in the 90s scenario, it's just like, no, no. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. but I'm happy. I'm happy they didn't try to de-age him or something. Just like just give him frosted yeah. tips and lean frosted into it. Tips, it's just yeah. funny. It's just funny, <laughs> man. Have you watched the new season yet? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's great. I I'm really enjoying it so, so far. Anyways, uh, like I said, though, kind of like, you know, I just like that show. Like, only murders. I do. Li- I do yeah. like it. I yeah. just. I I think kind of what I was saying before. I imagined a different show based on the premise. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah, I thought it would get more into like there, there's, you know, there's this. I don't know what's the word. This is kind of trend of like the cozy murder, you know. Yeah, I know what you're sit saying. down now and I'm going to listen to this podcast about this murder. I'm yeah, be, I'm going to transport my mind somewhere and I'm just going to be absorbed in it. And I was like, that that's something we can all kind of relate to and yeah, share yeah so when i heard that the show was about three people who were fans of a podcast that were then investigating a murder yeah i thought it was going to capture a bit more of that okay feel. okay okay but instead it's a murder happens in their building and they they make a podcast about it themselves yeah it's like, oh that's it's just a murder it doesn't even need the podcast angle you know uh, yeah, it doesn't have a feature heavily in it, but it's yeah, fun. It doesn't at all. It's fun, yeah. but uh, but I know what you're saying. Um, there was something else I could say. Oh, speaking of podcasts, because aside from this one, obviously we're on one. Oh my, we're God. on one. Oh, what's that called? It's meta, super meta. So meta. Recording a podcast, talking about podcasts. That's talking meta. Podcast. That's meta. That's so meta. Um, but uh, what was I going to say to you? Um, speaking of podcasts, like I'm struggling to f- find. Like, I remember when we were all listening to Serial and West Cork mm-hmm. and all that stuff was fun. Uh, I'm struggling to find something that I want to get my, my teeth stuck into. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like something, but I don't know. I don't know. Have you listened to... I'm going to double check the name of it before I mention it. I've listened... You probably already did. To Shit Talk or Shit Town or something and... That was great. That was great, yeah, yeah. Hunting Warhead. 
No, what is it about finding nukes or something? Looking for nukes? No, it's about hunting child sex offenders. We're we're coming full circle. Full circle. Yeah, uh, it's about people online who hunt um, pedophiles. Have you listened to it? Yeah. And is it good? It's good. Uh, yeah, like you know, kind of. So I've list I listened to they walk among us and it's a British murder true crime murder stuff and I kind of I kind of feel like it's not the best thing to listen to too much of or frequently because it's, mm-hmm. it's grim you know and uh, like obviously you know you have to be you can't be naive you have to be aware of the scenario in the world and you yeah, know you just can't, it's the same with the reality TV and the yeah. and the stuff you just can't put too much of it in your head yes yeah in your diet uh, so kind of I don't know in your content that, diet that feels grim hunting warheads it's interesting yeah well I might check it out um, there's the no good this is such a stupid name for a podcast podcast was good the no good terribly kind wonderful lives and tragic deaths of Barry and Honey Sherman oh wow okay yeah someone was have you heard of no. that no someone was trying to make a a, a statement with that name aren't they but yeah. um, the no good terribly kind wonderful lives and tragic deaths of Barry and Honey Sherman have you listened to it yep uh, it's about a billionaire who killed himself and his wife but did he oh because why would he mm. were they actually murdered and investigates oh. why somebody might want to murder him in the first place, but why also he might want to kill himself. Okay, interesting. It's interesting. It was a good one. Okay, okay. Okay, I can check that out. Yeah, I wouldn't mind just a... Good luck remembering the name, though. Uh, yeah. They didn't think that one through. I shouted there. I shouldn't have shouted. It's all those, okay. It's fine. Apolo- apologies. Um, apologies all around. But, uh, yeah, I don't think... I'm trying to think, did I read or watch anything else uh, I, 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 I've, I've probably said this before I have a bit of a hankering also to, I would love to watch all the X-Men movies again oh really yeah yeah man it's been years I'd give them a, second, a shot I feel like I have watched them in the last 10 years with the exception of the first one and potentially the second one I've probably seen the rest of them only once okay I've seen I don't think I saw Apocalypse. Mm-hmm. What was the one after Apocalypse? Dark, Dark Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, I didn't even bother watching those. Fair. That's understandable. I've seen, I've seen the other ones a few times, more than Days one. of Future Past and all that kind of stuff. Oh, speaking yeah. of Days of Future Past, which starred Peter Dinklage as, um, oh, yeah. Trask. I can't think of his name. Trask. Trask. Yeah. Uh, Peter Dinklage apparently is playing the Toxic Avenger in a movie directed by the lead actor of uh, Blue Ruin. Interesting. He was in, he was also recently in... He's also the director, isn't he? He's the director, yeah. Oh, he's the director. I think he was in Oppenheimer. Um, he, Macon. Yeah, Fair. I was going to say, he's a French, he's a uh, probably Cajun or French uh, heritage, but he's, uh, yeah, he has a name like that. But uh, he... Uh, it's directed by the, the movie's directed by that actor and it's starring Kevin Bacon, Peter Dinklage, uh, one or two other names I can't think of now. Uh, they re- I saw they released a poster for it. They released, trailer yeah, they released an image, yeah, no trailer, and it's coming out in September. I think it's hitting the, the film festival in September. Yikes, but I'd be interested in it though. I have fond memories I of Dark <laughs> I have fond memories of Toxic Avenger more of the cartoon though, as opposed to the trauma movies mm-hmm. um, yeah how many trauma movies have you seen couldn't tell you Brian wouldn't have a clue probably haven't seen many okay. I don't know I'd have to see I'd have to see them to know if I've seen you know what I mean a, a list or something yeah. uh, I don't know have you watched many of them I've seen a bunch and I watched the Traumaville TV show quite a bit probably would have seen stuff like that but I don't know I was just softcore pornography oh, really. but then I didn't because I'd remember. Great. Probably, but, you know, just, I, just boobies. I could have probably... Maybe, maybe full frontal. Full frontal. Um, male? 
Almost never. Oh, that's a pity. Um, <laughs> almost never. Never. But... Um, Hang on, there was something... Was there something recently that had full frontal in it? Oh, um... Basic Instinct. Did that have full frontal male genitalia? It did, yeah. Who's? That was a corpse, oh, but... Um, yeah. Still? Yeah, yeah. Hanging down. Uh... Interesting. You wouldn't get that. You wouldn't get that these days. You wouldn't get that now these days. Well, didn't somebody do? Didn't some actor do uh, uh, some some nudity recently? Gillian Murphy. There's no dong though. Why does everybody keep on saying dude doesn't hang dong? Wait, why does everybody keep on saying he's naked in Oppenheimer? And then I'm getting like reports that you see his dong, you don't see his dong. He's naked in Oppenheimer, but you don't see his dong. His legs are crossed. Yeah. There's no dong. He does not hang. You've dong. seen Oppenheimer. I have. Uh, yeah or nay? Nay. Nay, fair. Nay. You've seen Barbie? Yeah. No. No. Were you interested? Yeah. I'd love to see Barbie. Yeah, yeah. Just I haven't yeah. I haven't seen Oppenheimer, so like, I, I just have to be a cinema. Th- this is the thing now. Um the cinema in the city centre is closed down for the next two months. Oh wow, that's a huge fucking Yeah. It's been bought out by some other cinema chain and apparently they gave the staff zero notice. That's disgraceful. Yeah. And this I was excited about it briefly because they're supposedly renovating it. And I was like, oh, maybe it'd be like the lighthouse in Dublin. That'd be great if we had something like the lighthouse in Cork. That'd be so wonderful. But um, their only other cinemas are in Navin, Wexford, and Drogheda. What, so it what doesn't an, really bode well. What an enterprise. But um, what an enterprise. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah I, I want to see the, the kind of the list is getting big now for movies I want to see I want to see Oppenheimer I want to see Barbie I want to see TMNT and I want to see Blue Beetle mm-hmm. uh, would you be interested in Turs? yeah yep have you seen yep. have you seen it? I haven't seen it okay yeah yeah I just suppose time is, is, is the issue isn't it? it's not even the time now it's the fact that there's no cinema in the city centre I'd have to get a bus to the other cinema. Um, it's in a shopping center. And no, thank you. Okay, fair, fair. No thanks. It'd be easier to come to Dublin and just do day of movies. It would. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it wouldn't it? We can always we can always arrange that. Um. But uh, any plans now for the weekend, the day, the 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 week ahead? Probably. I go blank when people ask me this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, no, I have no plans. Fuck it. I don't, it's I'm like, not doing it. Uh, um, I'm sure I do. No, I'm sure I remember. No, fucking no. I need to go to town to buy a nail clippers because I lost my toe clippers. So I had to use my nail clippers. For your toes. For my toes. So now that is a toe clipper. So now I need to buy a nail clipper for, for my fingies. Why don't you? Uh, why should there's a pharmacy up the road from you? Is there not? There is. They'd have clippers. I want nice clippers though. Pardon? No, you want nice clippers. I want nice clippers. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't clip. I, I I can feel the difference in my nails depending on like the type of edge that they were cut with. Mm-hmm. So I want nice clippers. Yeah. Clippers. Yeah. No, we don't do that. I I, I eat my nails through sheer anxiety like a normal person. Yuck. Yeah. No, I don't chew nails. I don't do that. Um thing I do. Yes. Uh well, Brian. I mean we could keep talking. It's I watched American Gladiator documentary thing last night. Oh yeah, how was that? It's it's there's no story there. Okay. <laughs> it's it's just about we made the show and we got exploited and then the show ended and that's it like there's nothing I watched the Ashley Madison documentary on Disney Plus and was waiting for a fourth episode and it's just like this there's nothing in this yeah did you watch it? no yeah no. it was in there yeah it was interesting though because like I was watching the American Gladiators thing just remembering how much I loved the English version yeah Gladiators was great I love Shadow yeah, it was... I love Shadow but then he got he got 
fucking what well, he was using steroids and he got fired. They were all used. Yeah, they were all using steroids. It's terrible. I remember my mum telling me and I was devastated. But uh, I love Shadow and then Wolf. Shadow Wolf was great. Yeah. But uh no, I was watching it going because I remember watching Gladiators as a kid and then finding out about the American version and then seeing it and going this is a lame ripoff and then finding out that it came first and I was like but it looks crap and lame and then one of the producers at the end of the documentary series last night she she was like yeah I know the English show was 10 times more popular than than our show ever was and crazy was like, isn't it that's the impression I got watching it you know contenders uh, ready we used contenders to, ready we used to play uh, we used to I remember like we could, you will go on my first whistle <laughs> you will go on my second gladiators ready but I remember uh, I remember like kind of playing that in our hallway growing up you know pretending oh, to yeah. climb the hallway and all that kind of stuff great fun yeah um, I wonder what Jet's doing these days uh, I don't know buddy I, 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 I remember I believe it was I remember I remember seeing her for the first time and being like wow an awakening moment for you yeah Um, I remember I was one of the guys I think Warrior or somebody he uh, I can't remember if it was one of them uh but he was Action Man in the Action Man cartoon. He there used to be a little indent before the cartoon of a live action Action right. Man talking and then it would cut to the cartoon. And that was one of the gladiators, one of the British gladiators. I can't remember who though. I want to say it was like a warrior, but was there somebody like with a warrior name? There was there was a warrior. I think there was a Trojan. Possibly. Yeah, I feel like it could be like Trojan or something. Because I was going to say Spartan, but... Was Hunter? Hunter, No. Warrior, maybe I say no to Hunter. I guarantee it was Hunter, but uh, I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> but um, but here's the thing: I would watch all of those right now if I could. But I wish those were on streaming. Is that reality TV? No, no. That's just that's a, a competition. That's a game show. It's a game show is different, isn't it? Yeah, it's game show competition. You're right. There's yeah. no narrative there. Um, speaking of no narrative, I'm going to get back to my boring life. Talk to you later.